All right. A wonderful Friday afternoon, 2.23 p.m. Central Time here in chilly Chicago. We're going to do a break on a couple of boxes of Topps Heritage Baseball, and I'm going to call them jumbos because there's not Mega Box written anywhere on this thing. But this basically replaced the Mega Box they did last year. They finally got smart and put the packs in the right size so they won't get damaged. And the boxes are nice and easy to display, and they're actually pretty cool. All right, so these are 15 packs with one pack of Chrome cards that comes with them. Um, I've opened one set first. I opened one set to start with. I do think these are a good buy uh, for two reasons. You'll get five short prints per box, so roughly equivalent to what you're going to average on two blasters. Plus, you get the three Chrome cards. And what we found so far is that one of the packs had one base card and two chromes, and one of them had two base and one chrome. So they didn't make a whole lot of this if you're hitting refractors two to a pack. So I've got a feeling this stuff's pretty well short printed based on the number of packs that were made, and we can do some calculations. I'm going to play with that later and see if I can figure out exactly how many boxes of this stuff they made. I don't think it was heavily printed this year as compared to last year, because last year you were getting a whole lot more base cards than you were inserts. All right, anyway, here we go. Let's do another one of these, because I am in the mood to rip. So these I got uh, online. Um, I think I kind of figured out how everybody nabbed all the optic ba basketball off the shelves without it actually hitting the shelves. Uh, I'm sure some of it did, but uh, you could go online to Walmart a couple of days before I knew this was coming out, and they actually had this set up as a pre-sale. So I could buy, I, I bought 12, I'm sure you could probably go more, but um, I just bought 12, that was uh, $480, um, free shipping. And it worked out pretty well because it actually came in the mail the day after because I guess they ship out of uh, Chicago, actually about 10 miles from the house. So, uh, all right, first pack is Michael Chavez, number 500, last card in the set, short print. But uh, as you go through this, you'll see it also has the retail Walmart stuff in it since it's Walmart Jet Megas. And um, so that's the uh, scratch off. So you'll get two of those on average a box and you'll get... The other cards, on average, one a box. They're one in ten, one in eighteen. But we hit, we hit most of them in, in both boxes. Each one of the boxes had something special. I got a silver refractor from the base set out of one box, and I got a French text card in the other one. So it looks like they're going to have one thing in here that might be a little better, and that would be where you'd hit your autos and hit your other stuff. All right, second pack has Polo Grounds, Willie Mays. And no short print there. Otherwise, it's just basic heritage. Um, you know, I haven't had a jersey or thing, but we've only opened two boxes so far. Last year, I hit, out of 32 boxes, I think I hit four or five autos. And there were plenty of Chrome cards and stuff in them. So that's really what you were going for. All right. That pack doesn't have anything. This is typical. You get two or three empty packs in, in a box, just like you do in the hobby. I'm going to save the yellow one for last and we can be we can have fun. With Zach Grinky for the Astros. That's a regular card. No short print there. In the hit spot, anyway. Next pack. Giovanni Gago. And that is a short print for St. Louis. Number 429, Yargo. I never could say his name when he was with the Rangers. Some of those are just tongue twisters to me. Anyway, he was a good pitcher for the Rangers, and they should have kept him. Been kind of a journeyman and stuff, but he's given everybody innings, and he pitches well when he plays. All right, and another Willie Mays, Candlestick Park. Uh, these are one in... 10, so you will get a couple on the box. 
on average. All right, hey, we actually hit something. Yay! Our first real hit as such. And it is Kyle Schwarber. Hey, it's retail, and I've only hit two of these in blaster boxes. So at least they're putting stuff in these things. So Kyle Schwarber Outfield Clubhouse Collection. I'll take it. I'd rather have an auto, but I'll take that anyway. And no short print, so at least they're hitting. We'll take that. It's making these just as good as a hobby box. And we got a little something in here, too. It looks like one of the uh, scratch-offs. Scratch-off Brian Anderson for the Miami Marlins, number 14. And a short print of Shane Bieber, 454 for the Cleveland Indians. And base, so that's three short prints so far, and we still got a whole stack. So we should be good on getting five. They're not exactly every two packs like they are in the blasters. I've had a couple of them where they pulled out together and then space in between. So they must have the machine set up a little different for packing. All right, let's do it like this. Austin Riley, number 491, short print. That's a really good one. I think Riley's going to be a stud down the road. That's not one I need, though. I need uh, 403, 409. 403 is uh, Juan Soto. 409, 463, and 497 are the four I need to finish my second uh, set of short prints. Flashback of, looks like Cal Ripken. No, Brooks Robinson, even better. Brooks Robinson, why am I thinking? 71. There's the Astros triple. Cal Ripken. Dude. I watched him play all his years. All right, and here's the second of the scratch-offs. Like I said, you'll get two of these a box, which is nice. Scratch off. Brian Anderson for the Marlins. So dupe on that. And nothing else there. But that's fine. Those all work too. Alright. Austin Meadows short print number 481. Austin Meadows. So there's your five short prints. Still got three packs left, so we have a shot at another one. More than likely, it won't have another one. Uh, they seem to have five. I have one box like this where three packs left, and they were there was no short print, but there was still some good stuff. Haven't seen kind of a, other than the jersey, so that probably took care of that special slot. But we'll see. We should get some more inserts, though. Okay, Josh Hader. Josh Hader for the... Milwaukee Brewers, number 12. All right. Then and now, Burt Bly 11 and Garrett Cole. And that is number 15 in the set, 15. Very good. The last pack in the first box. Ronaldo Lopez is not a short print. So that's just the empty pack at the end. Okay, so our special card in that one was a jersey. Um, that's fine. We actually hit a jersey. All right, so this is what you're really buying these boxes for. This is a separate set of 100 Chrome cards that are in addition to the 100 that come in the hobby. The only way you can get them is in these boxes, and they're numbered the same as the first set. So this first one is Liam Hendricks, and this one is out of 999, so that's base. And we get a silver in the middle, Freddie Freeman. And we got rookies... 
National League rookies Trent Grisham and Marcio Dubon for the Giants and the Milwaukee Brewers. And there's Liam Hendricks' base. So two base cards in this one, and then a refractor of Freeman. The Freemans are out of five. Uh, Freeman is out of. I'm on. There we go. 071 of 571. And then the foils are out of 9.99. So there we go. So that's what you get in one blaster. And just to see if we keep with our average, we'll open the second one this time. And see what we get there. I'm trying to get all these up before I start sorting, sorting all the commons. Because I've got a 3,200-count box of each 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s. So I'm about to sort in the sets. And this came in, so I said, okay, I'm going to get these broke today. And we'll get them in there, and I can do it all at once. Um, Link what? I can do either way. I can break it for you here and send you what you want, or I can send you the whole box. What do you want to do? That's up to you. I think the stuff is neat as all get out. Sorry I didn't notice your thing quicker. Just throw it in the uh, throw it in the thing there which way you want. I can ship it to you. Okay, I can ship it all. It actually will pack better because it won't be in that big floppy box. All right. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm just I'll, I'm just doing a demo thing here on the new Heritage uh, uh, jumbos. So let me get the boxes out. You can pick which one you'd like, and we'll we'll break it for you, and we'll get it shipped to you. Sound good? All right. Let me uh, turn off the recorder here. So we're just going to do this as a one box, and then I'll do some more of this in a few minutes.